Hello everyone and Namaste. My name is Ojasri Josi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I will be talking about my journey from Nepal to Canada. Is studying in Canada worth it or not? The biggest mistakes as per me international students make in Canada and how long does it take for an international student to get the PR? Before starting this video, I also want to send out a quick disclaimer that whatever I'll be talking in today's video is based on my personal experience. I do plan on making a video in future where I also add the personal experiences of other international students. Before coming to Canada, I had one of the most amazing year of my life because I got to stay in the UK with my family for a year. That is where I got my first job in McDonald's. And the one year experience that I had there really helped me in my journey to Canada. In the starting, my goal was to either go to the States or to start my education in the UK. But what happened is that when I was working in McDonald's, I had a lot of international friends who were studying in the UK. And one common thing that I realized is that many people after graduating, they didn't get a job and then they had to go back to their country. Just studying and not getting any foreign experience and going back was not for me. So I knew that I had to make my decision really wisely. At the same time, my best friend and her family were also applying for PR in Canada. And auntie suggested that I should look into Canada. After I looked into Canada, I saw that the benefits that Canada provided for international students were much better than the countries that I was looking into. So that is how my journey to Canada started. One month before coming to Canada, our journey in the UK had ended, so we returned back to Nepal. And at that time what happened is that my friend's PR was taking a long time, so even she started applying for her student visa. And then the day I landed, her visa got rejected. And if you're from South Asia, I think you can relate that for my mom to send me by myself in Canada was really difficult so even 10 days before me coming to Canada it was not sure if I would be coming to Canada or not but then the universe helped me the person who was living in my current room moved out and I got to move in with two Nepalese sisters and four months later my best friend and her family also came to Canada so now I also have my best friend and her family and two lovely roommates and a wonderful support system in Canada if you ask me if studying in Canada is worth it or not, my answer would be yes. I like the education system here. If you're not sure about which degree you want to go to, even changing your faculty is flexible. For instance, I was in business before and I switched to computer science and I didn't even lose any credits. Many universities also provide co-op and intensive opportunities where you get paid jobs in your field. Currently, I'm working as a software developer at NB Power, and if it wouldn't be for my university, getting that job for me would be really difficult. But of course, being said that there's also some disadvantages to studying in Canada. The scholarship opportunities are limited and it is really difficult to work more than 20 hours at times, especially if you're an undergrad student. If you are an undergrad student, there's a high chance that you'll have classes every day and the workload of every class is extremely high. I remember during school year that I would be in lab sometimes till midnight or one and would have class from eight in the morning. In fact, after coming to Canada, even my hair has started whitening and trust me, it's not easy. <laughs> biggest mistake that I personally made before coming to Canada is stress too much about what will happen in a year, where will I be, will I get accepted or not. I know especially with this COVID-19 situation, it is really stressful for people who are graduating right now. But my biggest suggestion would be try to relax as much as you can because if you are going in a foreign country, this will be your last time living with your family not having to worry about cooking cleaning washing dishes or not even having to take your own responsibility another common mistake that i see many people doing is that 
even before coming here or even before getting a job people they start calculating oh how much money i'll make after i come here but reality might not be the same there might be a high chance that after coming here for some months you might not get a job it's not as easy as it seems so keep your expectations low the final common mistake as per me is mostly related to master students i have seen many master students select research based course even if they're not interested in research just because it's cheaper and then regretting it later if you are not really interested in research you shouldn't do that there are some limitations that research based course has such as you can't work without your supervisor's permission and this might also affect you financially and at times it also takes you longer to complete the degree in compared to course base the pr process for international students after graduating depends from province to province but the general rule is if you have graduated from a degree that took you more than two years then you get three years work permit but if your degree is shorter than two years for instance if it's 16 months you get exactly 16 months work permit canada also has point system and you need to meet certain language criteria other than that the processing time depends from province to province for instance i'm from new brunswick and after i graduate and work in my field for a year i can apply for pr for today that's it but if you are or were an international student and think that i've missed out any points i have attached a google form in the description box below please send me your points so that we can help other international students together it would be even better if you could send me a video message at josieojosui0 at gmail.com with your thoughts. I know choosing a foreign country for your education is not easy, especially with this COVID-19 situation. So send me as much as information as possible so that we can help international students together. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching. Namaste.